going on, motherfuckers? <laughs> How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are good. I'm good. A bit tired, but you know, good. Right, so um, today we will be continuing with Quit Pro motherfucking quo. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Anna in the fishy market. And uh, we still have to go visit the little, uh, little universe town. Hope you guys are ready. I'm fucking ready. So, uh, it looks like the guy video I uploaded is doing, um, it's doing pretty well. It's doing pretty good. Getting over 400 views already. That's fucking, that's nuts. That's nuts. Am I right? I think it's nuts. All right, so we changed the, the audio a bit on the microphone and on my game sounds. Just gonna test that out for this video real quick. If it is too loud, just remember to turn the volume of the video on YouTube down for a little bit. Sorry if that's a problem. All right, anyway, let's get started. Let's go do a little fucking detective work, shall we? Take as much. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded. At least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. He knows how many people might already be affected. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find him? I'd bring an end to him right there if I were you. The police and court are useless these days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. If you know what I mean. Oh, oh uh... See what I can do. Yeah. One thing still bothers me. The guard at the storage, Daryl. What was he doing at the time? Wanking. Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me, he deserves a raise. Good old dependable Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye. Charlie. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Um. I've found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me? You found what? A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. I bet. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. You were a student there, I take it? Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? Ah, uh, just... Wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. And Better I've just the shut up, buddy. Myself. Could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. Mm, I see. Bye. See you later. He's not been doing his grumpy bye lately. It's just been, uh, see you later. Have a nice day. Hope you're doing well. You know? Fuck that. <laughs> we ain't doing that, buddy. We just go with the classic bah. All right, so fish market, and we have to find. Oh, there it is. That's the university library, but is it the university too, or no? So do I have to go to the library or the university? I do not know. Let's read. Some are connected to the university. I need to visit the university. All right. Doesn't say anything about about um. Oh, can just fast travel there. Doesn't say anything about the university library. All right. Let's go ahead and head there. 
Man, guys, I have been feeling so good about this YouTube thing lately, and um, I'm just gonna keep cranking videos out one after the other, man. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be decent. And uh, this month, two more games are releasing. I'm thinking of playing. Um, one of them was something something I can't remember the names. I think Beyond Two Souls, maybe, and um, Wolfenstein, I think. I'm not sure if those are the ones, but yeah, I'll be playing both of them. So, and maybe thinking about doing some type of giveaway or something. Those well, for maintenance. Welcome to to the University of Oakmont. How can I help you? Well, that's hard to not joke about. <laughs> Sorry. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It's sorry. We have hundreds of bottles like this in the university. Fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. I see. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. Wait, let me show you? A new location. The Department of Medicine. Alright, so that probably looks like a vial or some, some canned. Um... Oh. No. Yeah. I'm bland. No worries. Alright. Um, for now, I'm just gonna keep uh, sticking to the main storyline for a little bit. And uh, definitely gonna finish Quid Pro Quo. After we've done that, I'm thinking of doing um, some of those infected areas. Put a few in one episode. Think that might be a little Gucci. Gotta be saving up some ammunition for that. Are we gonna be pwning some monsters? Some some old classic gun to the face, bullet to the head pwning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello, sir. Welcome to Oldmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Uh, tests. Could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. Oh, boy. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? No. Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Ah. That's why it was giving me guns in the closet there. Bullets. The EOD's banned to all the staff and students of the University of Oakmont. Henceforth, any mentions of the Everyone's Obvious Duty organization, also known as the EOD, is symbolic, current, and or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs in forbidden university grounds on pain of dismissal or expulsion. Yada, yada, yada. All right, if you want to read that further, pause the video. I ain't reading it no more. All right, so this will be basement? Yeah. So let's first go up meow. Oh, budge. can't go up meow. Hate it when I can't go up meow. All right, let's get my 44 Magnum PI up in his mother. Jesus Christ. Hey, buddy. Die. 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 
Die. Hey there. How you doing? You thinking I'll be a little... Get the fuck. Wait, the lab is clear? That's it? That shit wasn't hard. I thought this fucking thing was gonna come to life. That's a first aid, kid. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I <laughs> or shouldn't I? Always push so the very button. Tempting. Oh, he does it! What kind of person would even touch oh, no. this? Not to mention oh, yeah. Dissect it. I woke it up. Fuck! I'm gonna need some of that brain food for this guy. Alright, so inventory. Fuck! No, I don't have anything! Oh my god, we're dead. We're so fucking dead. I'm a fucking idiot. Why do I have to do that? Ah! No, 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 no. No! He came that way. I didn't trigger somehow. I did it. Oh god, why? Stop with the fishings! Stop! Easy. I didn't even sweat there. That wasn't even some serious equipment they've got here. <laughs> I like how he just talks well like funded. nothing happened. Oh, why did I have to push the button? Pause if you want to read it. Okay, I'm gonna need a little uh. Kind of person to even touch this. I'm gonna to dissect it. Need a little breather after that one. <laughs> I can't believe he pushed it. If he, I didn't expect him to, actually. I thought it was just going to be dialogue. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. That was, uh... Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well-funded. That was a bit much. Oh, my God. I am sweating. Fuck me. <laughs> Shit. All right, I cleared the monsters from the Department of Medicine. Yes, I did. I cleared everything. All right, let's go back and uh, talk to the big fellow over there. Oh, man, I am sweating, guys. Jesus. Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. Ah, oh, shit. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. 
I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. <sighs> Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. How suspicious. I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advin. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'ma smack everything. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. Oh <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. Right. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine, his biochemistry studies are second to none, worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I, I hope bet. he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. Bye. I'll see you later. All right, so we did... Get a few. Oh my god, we got four points. I didn't realize. Okay, so. Should we get more experience? 50% double quest rewards. Imagine that'd be good. Alright, so. Um, remain sane for much longer. I don't think we need that yet. Uh, save materials from crafting. That'd be good. Uh, from here we get. Uh, slowly regenerate health, melee attacks with slightly a lot more damage. Falling from heights deals half the damage. Man-eating eels. Wow, okay. Um... Let's go with that one. Alright, sweet. Experiments. Pause the video if y'all want to read it. And let's combine some shit in my mind's place. My mind palace. A secret chamber in the warehouse. Westerbrook has a poison. EOD ranks or something. No, nothing. The guard's afraid of Anna. No. Mm, okay. Wow, nothing works, huh? Okay, no problem. Let's go open you Go in and see if we can do some little monspecty poo over here. Oh, fat loot. Always like that. Oh, boy. You all know what happens when you get a bunch of fucking ammunition and stuff. You about to fight a boss. This is absurd. It's been five months and still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished. Or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell me, you tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce. Westerbrook. Authorized personnel only, huh? Nothing beats my shovel. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. <gasps> oh, 
we about to do that magic. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Show me the way. Show me the mother... Where did you go? Up there? In here? Whoa. Pause the video if y'all want to read it. All evidence collected. That's what I'm talking about. Easy does it, am I right? Oh, it's so close for me. So it's all right. Let's go and see what we got. The secret chamber of the warehouse. No. There we go. The Poison Thief. George Cavendish, a professor at Oakmont University, is the Poison Thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the Poison Locker. According to his student, he lives somewhere in Advent. Alright, Gucci. George Cavendish is a professor at Oakmont University, is the Poison Thief. He made himself a copy of the key. Yeah, we just read that. You fucking idiot. We just fucking read that. You fucking moron. All right, see if he has something to say. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? Mm, no, we already later. asked them that. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't climb. Can you fill me in on ricin again? Of course. No. Oh, yeah. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Fuck. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ what? failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. You fucking don't you say later. so. Bye. Okay. Um, so he lives somewhere in... Advent, which is where? Oh, it's in the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blind, idiot. Alright, so maybe we can find something about that in City Hall. Just to find people. And uh, we'll be doing that in the next motherfucking episode of Quid Pro Quo. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching so much, and it's been a blast so far, and I can't wait to see you guys for more mouth videos. Alright? See you later! Peace!